Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is about farmed salmon. Farmed salmon has gotten a terrible rap the last 10, 15, 20 years. A lot of chefs have, uh, have decided to ban farmed salmon such as myself. I've taken it a step further and I've created a site called No farmedsalmon.com to educate people on the dangers, the possible dangers of farmed salmon. Here's the one thing that many people don't understand about farmed salmon in Canada, okay? First off, it's impossible to really raise anything, beef, salmon, pork, chicken, unless you're doing it super, super, super sustainable, okay? When it gets to farming salmon in pens, in oceans, in the feedlot salmon, they're it's very hard to do it right, just because the system to begin with, it, it, it's like it's like Joel, Joel Salatin said it best. We take all these G, GPS trackers from, from satellites and to figure out where we're gonna grow corn in the US, right? So we satellite track everything where we're gonna grow corn, but we haven't realized that animals shouldn't be eating corn, they should be eating grass, right? So we're on the wrong track. So farmed open pen salmon is on the wrong track. It's very hard to do it right. And a lot of places now say, well, we are doing it right. And there's, a lot of those places can be debunked. If you go to nofarmsalmon.com, you can see what I've done, some work on there. And there's a lot of experts on there that, that have really weighed in on what's wrong with farmed salmon. Well, here's something that people don't know. See, Norway, Norway was the leaders to farm salmon until the 70s. But they destroyed Norway. And the Norwegian government stepped in and said, you can't do this anymore. You're ruining the environment. So what happened was they tightened the regulations in Norway. So now these Norwegian internet, you know, these Norwegian companies, salmon farm companies, now branched out. So we need to go other places and farm where, where there's less restrictions. And one of the places they found was Canada. Canada, it, they can do whatever they want in Canada, basically. Uh, these these salmon farms. The Canadian government is so friendly to having these salmon farms. So, being it said that. It's hard to do it right to begin with, and there might be some 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 that are more sustainable than others. Okay, because you can be you can be bad and you can be better than bad, and so you can you know be a little better. So with that being said, when you farm salmon, you have something that's called morts, mortalities. You always have death on a salmon farm, especially if you have an outbreak of something, a disease. You have to kill all the salmon. So between the salmon dying and the salmon getting killed because you need to put up the whole flock down. Uh, the whole the whole farm down that happens on a regular basis in Canada but here's one thing happens all over the world when they farm salmon but here's one thing that differs in Canada the Canadian government gives the salmon farms these multinational Norwegian companies not these small mom and pop places but these large large salmon farm companies they give them full dollar for their salmon they will subsidize a salmon farm for their loss, for their complete loss at full retail value, up to $25 million. Yes, the Canadian government, at the taxpayer's expense. The taxpayers are getting screwed. The environment's getting screwed. The locals are getting screwed. They're, and the government's giving all this money when the one guy in the one video I showed up there, he said we can't even have a librarian in our town, but these salmon farms are right here in the bay and they're taking millions and millions and millions of dollars of our taxpayer money and we can't have a librarian at our library in town. It just doesn't make sense, it's mind boggling. So when you have chefs like Rick Moon, who used to be an awesome sustainable chef on seafood, when you have him like, well, who only used to serve wild salmon, who's now jumped the ship and gone on to farm salmon. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. When chefs like that are promoting farm salmon, they're Canadian farm salmon, they are screwing the Canadian residents out of their tax dollars by promoting something that's costing more money to the Canadian residents. And that's screwing these local communities. It's insane, and these, but these chefs don't look past it because they can't do their own research, these chefs. A lot of these chefs just can't do their own research. That's what sickens me about a lot of my colleagues. They take the first thing they hear, oh, this is certified that, or, or my salesman told me this, or the company says this. You've got to do your own research, people. You've got to do more than just the smoke and mirrors up there, the stuff that, 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 that they want you to hear, okay? So people like Rick Moon, I mean, come on, Rick. Have you not done the research? Have you not done the research on, on the whole industry of farm salmon? And have you not done the, the research on Cook Aquaculture, who owns a True North brand? Have you not done the research? Oh my gosh, it's just, have you not talked to the experts? Have you not talked to both sides? Or does this company just throw you money? 
they just throw you money and because I called Cook Aquaculture, I spoke to them, I had an in-depth conversation. There's problems like there's on any salmon farm. The problems exist just because they're certified sustainable for some bogus certification that they could have made up themselves or the collective salmon farms made up themselves, go to Farmed and Dangerous and look up, look up all the standards, the certifications. The standard that, that they're using, the certification they're using is a very weak certification, but it's tricking most of the people. And you as a celebrity chef, you're going out there and, 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 and promoting the salmon and it's costing people money. It's just, it's, it's mind-blowing, but the Canadian government subsidizes. That's the point of this video. The Canadian government subsidizes full retail value when a salmon farm loses salmon. And salmon, they lose salmon all the time. Lock do hard, doesn't matter. All, all these so-called sustainable, the best sustainable farms out there lose salmon. That's part of the industry. That's part of the game. It's part of what happens, okay? There's always salmon loss. There's always disease. There's always lice. There's always this. There's always that. There's always salmon feces hitting the bottom of the ocean and creating dead zones in the ocean there. There's, there, there's, there's, that's part of what's happening. You can't, you can't get around certain things. You might be able to do certain things a little better, but you can't avoid the fact that salmon have to go to the bathroom. They have to, their feces is gonna go all over the place. They're swimming in their feces. You can't get behind the fact of that. Yeah, so some, some have one bathtub of space of water per farm and some have two bathtubs of space. So the one that has two bathtubs of space should be certified sustainable because it has two bathtubs of space as opposed to something that's more cramped. It's, this, this is the logic that, that's here. This is the logic. They're certifying something. They're certifying something. They're putting the word sustainable or something that's hard to do to begin with. It's hard, it's like having slaves. It's like, well, we're doing humane slaves. Well, what is humane slavery? It's slavery, slavery, isn't it? I mean, I, I, this is, this is well, well, we don't, you know, we use more slaves to farm the fields. We use five slaves per acre as opposed to three slaves per acre. I mean, this is the kind of logic they're using. This is the logic these salmon farms are using to, to, to screw with your mind and, uh, of the consumers and of the chefs that are buying into it. it, it it's, it's ridiculous. I, oh my gosh. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Check out my site, nofarmsalmon.com. Tell me what you think. Am I off base? Am I off base? Tell me. Nofarmsalmon.com. Check it out. Add your comments. Add your critiques. Email me. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and pass it on.